Hey and welcome to tutorial to you. My name is Yannick and in this video we are going to take a look on how you can use generics in C Sharp. Well to be more precise we are going to create a generic store which create objects of various types inside of the construct. So let's talk about C Sharp generics in constructors. Just one short sentence regarding two generics, right? They are a powerful feature that allows developers to create classes and methods that can work with any data type. So we will call that data type T and you will see why. So here we got our class, which is called person. We have two properties. We have a string for the name and we have an integer for the age. Now, as I said in one of the last sentences is that generics allow us to reuse the same functionality of code for different data types. It doesn't matter if it's an integer, a string, or a custom data type like our person. Now, let's get to the next level. Let's create a public class. And let's call it generic store. Now, don't get confused by that store. What it basically means is that we have any kind of creating an object, saving an object, and getting that object again. So whatever a store is doing, right? Now here we are creating that generic store of type T, which basically means of whatever type you provide me. So as I said, that generic store saves an item also of type T, let's say of type int or of type person, totally fine. Then we have a constructor, so public generic store. You can see T item. We will create that item. Item is equals to item, again, of whatever type. So you can see that T, is everywhere right so we don't have one specific data type we always use t because it's generic now finally we have a method which returns an element of type t let's call it get item for example and that returns well an object with the correct data type which is our item right so we return an item of type t which is that stored item right here so our generic store creates an item and saves it locally inside of it. And we have a method to get that item. And everything here is generic because it's not bound to one specific data type. No, you can use this generic store with every data type. Well, if you have now learned something new, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like this video and for sure check out our C-Sharp Progress Academy. It's sliding in right now from the left side, there we go. This is our C-Sharp Progress Academy. It's a self-paced online course and your best way to become a valuable C-Sharp full stack developer with in-depth knowledge in ASP.NET Core, unit testing and C-Sharp software design patterns. We even offer a 14 day money back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Sharp developer. So go ahead, check it out. The link is in the description below or popping up right now in the top right corner. Now that said, let's get started by using our generic store. So here we got our program and our main method, right? So now let's first of all get it done with a primitive data type, for example, an integer. So let's create a generic store of data type int. Now you can see that he is suggesting the data type t because that's how we created it, right? Generic store t. But now we can provide any custom data type or primitive data type like integer, string and all of that or even person. Now we will see that in a second. Let's call it in store here. Oh, and by the way, we also have the content of this video written as a blog article on our website. You can also find the link to that article in the description below. There we go, let's create a new generic store of type int. Let's create an item inside there with the value of 10. Now let's write that. So CW tap tap console write line, right? Now int store dot get item. So we call that generic method. Awesome. So that's the first one. We can simply copy that over. Let me just do that real quick. There we go. Now we have it with a second store of type string. So basically exactly the same, but the data type has changed and the code is still working. Doesn't matter if it's an int or a string and we can even do it with a custom data type. So we could, for example, go ahead and create a person. Let's say John, right? We then create another store, which is a generic store of type person this time, right? Primitive type, primitive type. And that one is a custom data type. 
and then we can again log it to the console get item and then we can for example take the name so why are we able to take the name well because our generic store is of type person so he knows that this get item method is returning a person and so we are able to get to the properties great so let's run our application and you can see 10 hello world and john which is perfect because we have 10 hello world and the name is john Awesome. So this is basically one of the easiest ways to explain C Sharp in generics. So as I said, it's basically a very nice way on how you can make your code super generic so that it works for any kind of data type. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make it right now because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming .NET related videos. Give this video a thumb up and for sure check out our C-Sharp Progress Academy. And if you are thinking about some very specific topics in your head that you want to see as a video, write them down into the comment section below because we love to create videos for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.